Okay, so you guys, we're picking up where we left off with decluttering these highlighters. It's a lot. We're just gonna jump into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell. Follow me on all my social medias. Go check out my online website, www.amblavish.com. And before we jump off into the video, I'm gonna start this video off with the question of the day. I sell on Poshmark. Should I add products that I no longer want and want to sell? to my online website or should I leave them over on Poshmark? Comment down below right now. Let's get into these highlighters, girl. All right, so I got some highlighters over here in the Shop My Stash. If y'all haven't been following me on this shop must i mean on this declutter y'all need to go back to declutter number one and then follow up right here because it explains a lot over there in part one just to be honest we're gonna go ahead and pop this thing off right i pulled out the highlighters from shop my stash which y'all gonna see later on sometime down the line that I'm switching some things up. I can't even buy no more highlighters to be honest with you guys. I can't even buy no more. This is ridiculous, okay? So, highlighters that I know for sure I'm gonna keep because I just haven't used like talking about. Well, I use this one. This is my MTF Cosmetics Tier Highlighter there on Instagram and this is a fan favorite highlighter, so. I know for a fact I'm keeping that one. My Ofer highlighter in Star Island. Y'all, this is way too light for your girl, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. It is basically brand new. If I'm not mistaken, I think, I think maybe my twin gave me this, but I actually tried it and it's extremely too light. So I think I'm gonna declutter that one. <laughs> I have my Nabla. What is this one? Lucent Jungle Highlighter. I haven't even used yet, I don't think. So we're gonna keep that. And then we also have the Wet n Wild After Sex Glow. Haven't busted open, so I gotta keep that one. And quickly, I just realized that I forgot some makeup products here in a makeup bag that I really never really I never really put together a makeup bag but I have been lately and I forgot I had some products over here so we got to go back a little bit this foundation I'm keeping this is the dream radiant liquid foundation for Maybelline I'm keeping it all right this creme shop it's about it's about time it's about prime blurring primer focus I'm gonna get rid of this. I tried it two, three times and don't like it. So, gotta get rid of that. And that's brand new. The rest of it is non-irrelevant at this moment. Oh, the concealer. This concealer is in Warm Honey. I'm gonna keep it. I do have Warm Honey already. I see the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. This one is in Aurora. I'm going to keep because I still haven't used it. All right. So we're not there yet. So I am going to keep my Wet n Wild Illuminating Catwalk Pink Highlighter so far. I'm going to keep this. I've been loving this for a while now. Now this one is a dream come true. This is a Disney collection. Walgreens made it. Y'all remember at that one point in time in my life, I was into all those Walgreens Disney collections. This one here is the Cinderella highlighter. I really like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Don't know if it's like, I think it is maybe like a limited edition type of ordeal. So nine times out of 10, I won't bring it on camera, but I do really like it. The Milani Intense Bronze Glow. Y'all, I've been having this for a while. And um, um, I don't know. This one is Sunkissed Bronze. I'm gonna put this into maybe. I told y'all highlighters is going to be super freaking hard for me. I just got this um, Soul Body one. Um, this one is in Warm Glow. 
I'm gonna keep because I just got it not too long ago off of Poshmark. Good, this Jeffree Star. Okay, this one is Peach Goddess from Jeffree Star. I'm gonna sell it. Okay, for the Beauty 3D highlighter. I'm gonna finally declutter it. Uh, my Nicole ABH Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. Y'all, I have to keep this. This is the only glow kit I got from ABH. And I really, 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 really like it. So, going to keep it. Um, my Juvia's Place. This one is in Nefertiti. I'm going to keep for right now. Cody Airspun Highlighter. This one is in glow for gold i'm gonna get rid of nothing really wrong with it it just has a little bit too much glitter effect versus what i'll be going for nowadays i'm gonna keep my ruby kisses all over glow it broke down to the very bone and this one is in bronze glow i'm gonna keep it my wet and wild golden flower crown y'all know this ain't going nowhere so my becca this one is in prosecco pop highlighter i don't even think i used this yet but i think i'm gonna keep it yes gonna keep all right so this dominique cosmetics skin glow it's an all over skin enhancer y'all i did try to support dominique cosmetics with her new little launch beautiful packaging very pretty highlighter but it's a cream highlighter and i don't do creams so this one is in copper light so this one has to go it just has to go so my wet n wild mega highlighter brick this one is in i think this is the bronze bar yeah um i think it's time for me to let this go because it's just a tad bit too bronze let's get into this all of these liquids okay i have blondie by fenty i think my twin gave me this one too and i think i'm just gonna go ahead and let this one go because I think I got rid of most of all of my Fenty sticks. This one is the Pocahontas one. It's, I just never used it. Very pretty. Loved the concept, but never used it. She got to go. So, my little cute Becca Topaz I'm keeping by Iconic London Illuminator. Um, in original, I'm keeping. I just recently got this in a boxy charm and I like it, so I'm gonna keep that now. My wet and wild halos, I don't really like cream powders, but for some reason, I can't let these go yet. I still can't let them go, but I got rid of a whole lot of them. I had got the full collection when they first dropped, and I got every last one of them, but I don't think I could let these go yet. So I do have Glow Goddess, Go With The Glow, and Gilded Glow. So I still have three left, and I think I'm going to keep them, use them a few more times, and then let them go. And then I recently just got this Born To Glow NYX Illuminator. This one is in Gleam. I kind of fell into the glowy scene, so I'm going to keep that for now, and I'm going to move this down below. My Mariah Carey my mimi highlighter y'all i think it's just time to let her go i kept her out of everything that i got from mac i kept her because she's a staple but i think it's time to let her go but i'm gonna put her over there in the maybes because i am hmm, i don't know all because she is she was limited edition so i don't know i'm gonna put her in the maybe y'all we're keeping a whole lot of highlighters so far okay so let's go with these little palettes right here my vintage by jessica y'all know i got this in like a boxy charm or something a while ago and i absolutely fell in love with it it's like rose quartz and chocolate diamond so this is rose quartz this is chocolate diamond i actually really still love this and haven't used it in a while so i think i want to keep it my pure bronze and brightener this one is in dreamer got this in a boxy charm ish too and i really love this so i'm gonna keep it all right my milani i just don't my milani holographic beam the only one i like is the worldly 
which is this one over here but i'm pretty sure i have this shade somewhere else but i was only keeping this palette for this one and even though it is like super freaking pretty and rose goldy y'all i can't keep keeping it just for one but ugh, it's just so stunning i'm putting it in maybe jesus all right my maybelline master blush I use every last one of these. I got it in the highlighter drawer, I think because I ran over on the blush drawer, but I'm keeping this one because I use every last one of those. All right, my Kevin Aquan. I bought this from Platinum on YouTube. It's the only Kevin Aquan that I have. I have a Kevin Aquan concealer and then this which is a highlighter but honestly you guys i bought it because it was kevin aquan and she was selling it this was in sahara it's a golden rose glow i'm gonna declutter it i kept it for the longest because it's platinum d anything i get from platinum i keep but i really truly just don't use this and it's really time to go so my revolution makeup uh ultra blush palette this one is in golden sugar two rose gold i just barely got this well i ain't gonna say i barely got this i got this a while back but i never used it until recently and i'm absolutely in love with everlast color so she stays now that i look at it these play a similar part in each other literally Okay, the Milani Tantastic Body Face Shimmer. I bought this, got rid of it, bought it again, and now I'm going to get rid of it again. My I Heart Revolution highlighters that y'all know I had been looking for for a very long time. I finally found them. Here is the Apple Cinnamon Heart, keeping, and then the Ginger Bread Heart, I'm keeping. Y'all, I got rid of the entire other piece to the collection my jackie ina le bronze and then my jackie ina le peach oh girl i think i'm gonna get rid of le bronze and keep le peach ain't that crazy so purple dream in the artist couture this one is the diamond glow powder i got this in like a boxy jar a boxy charm and this one's the purple dream i really did like it when I first used it and was like, oh, this is so unique and blah, blah, blah. I think I'm going to hold on to it one more round. If not, then I'm going to get rid of it. Copper Chill by Fenty Loose Highlighter. Very, very pretty, but it just really is too dark for me. So I think I am going to let it go. Very, very pretty. Can y'all tell how pretty that is? But I think I'm going to go ahead and let it go because... Oh, and she has a, oh, she has a good smell. <sighs> I think this is too dark. Oh, my God. Why did I swatch it? Okay, she's going to the maybe. Okay, my Milani strobe light and glowing. I'm going to finally get rid of. My Ofa, Ofra Rodell Drive, not getting rid of. I've been holding on to this for way too long. So I'm not going to get rid of that. My Wet n Wild Mega Glow, Hustle and Glow, not getting rid of. Okay, so my Wet n Wild Jelly Highlighter, this one is in Blaze and Glaze. Even though I like it, I don't like that it's a jelly form. Oh, and it hardened up. It hardened up and it's about to be out of there, so I just might as well get rid of that. My LA Colors Bronzer in Bronze Glow. Love it, but had it for a very long time. It's just time. It's time. It won't hurt me that bad. My Morphe Sparks, I can't get rid of. Y'all, I've been rocking Sparks. I got a good indent on it. Can't get rid of that one. Sorry. My Black Radiance Ginger Snap, can't get rid of. Love that. Um, okay. My MAC Gold Deposit, I think I am going to get rid of. I had it for a while and still, I know Gold Deposit was like, fan favorite holy grails but y'all i just don't use it i don't know what's wrong with me and mac products my wet and wild rainbow highlighter i might as well get rid of you guys i never opened it 
I always kept it. It's the unicorn glow. Am I really gonna use it? No. Y'all, it's starting to get hard. Okay, this is my Becca Topaz. I know I kept the little one, but I'm also gonna keep the big one. The big one is my Ride or Die. So I'm gonna keep that. My Maybelline Master Chromes. This one is in Molten Gold. This one is Molten Topaz. Can't get rid of them. Okay, my Juvia's Place Heron Glow Number One. I never use it though. Oh, I can't get rid of it. Okay, I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay, my Jazzy Girl Cosmetics Highlighter. This one is in Bold and Shimmer. I'm gonna keep as well. My Omrezy Highlighter. I'm gonna keep. I think I. I think I sold the other one. I think I had two of these. I'm going to keep this one. A Hakari that I got in like BoxyCharm or Ipsy Radiant Shimmer Bronze. Going to keep. God, I know I like that one. Oh, these wet and wilds. Okay, I'll go ahead and get rid of my two limited edition ones. This one is the Mega Glow Illuminator. This one is in Royal Calyx. I never opened it. I'll go ahead and get rid of that one. And then the limited edition White Raven. I'll go ahead and get rid of both of these. So that means I could keep the diamond purple. Purple diamond highlighter. So the awesome blossom highlighter. Keeping. Keeping. Okay. And now I have the Fenty Beauties. This one's Trophy Wife. I keep keeping Trophy Wife because Trophy Wife is Trophy Wife. She actually finally like broke, but I'm gonna keep. I have Ginger Bean and Moscow Mule. I think I done gave away all the rest of them, but I think I'm gonna keep these three. And y'all, I, I was supposed to say I could barely open it. Here's this one. These are more like, this one here is more like a blush. So I'm gonna put that in the blush drawer, honestly. And then we got Me Money and Hustler Baby. I'm gonna keep it. Y'all. Okay. Y'all, we did kind of bad, but we did kind of good. Okay, I'm going to organize and put this back. And if I see anything that I feel like I need to go through again and rethink, I will do that and let y'all know. But right now, I'm going to give y'all a little ASMR. All right, not the best, but it looks better than before, and it's clear. It has room for a lot. Oh, it has room for a lot to grow, and I think I did pretty good. I'm pretty sure I'm going to change this up some other way, but for right now, it looks decent. So now it's time to move on into setting sprays and press powders all right y'all i'm back like after 20 minutes i have two batteries charging and then this one is not completely fully charged so we're gonna try to do what we could do within the time frame if this battery starts to go dead then i am done for this declutter section part but i pulled all my setting sprays that i had over there and then here's some more setting sprays and let me pull the pressed powders in so i pulled in the pressed powders right here that i was already currently using and now we're gonna start with the setting sprays so this pixie vitamin wake up mist is a project pan i think i'm still gonna try to use this up i i'm, I'm almost done but i don't know you guys my aftermath Koki post makeup setting spray I'm going to keep, but this is going to go back into my client train case. You guys, I need to declutter my train case as well. This Milani Rosewater Prep and Refresh Hydrating Setting Spray is very new to me, so I'm going to keep it. 
Y'all, my Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go has been the life, so I'm keeping it. My Black Radiance Long Lasting Setting Spray Fix and Set, I'm gonna keep. And my Glam Glow Glow Setter is new to me and I'm gonna keep. My Jeffrey one, I kind of explained before that this, I, I know we all against Jeffrey and all them right now. I agree with it, but this setting spray is basically like the regular Morphe Continuous Spray, the black bottle. This just have a strawberry scent, so I'm gonna use it up, but I won't be repurchasing it. I'm gonna keep the mattifying morphe spray i need make it dewy i am gonna go ahead and get rid of and not really get rid of i'm gonna put this in my freelance kit um okay this Too face make it dewy i really like just that ball sound but i'm gonna keep it <laughs> y'all don't come for me y'all i have a bad problem my Koki Matte Setting Spray, I'm keeping. My LA Girl Setting Spray, keeping. My Joa Beauty Matte, I'm keeping. My Kapari Coconut Rose Toner, keeping. My Magic Rose Water is the hydrating facial mist that I got from a beauty supply, I'm keeping. My Garnier Skin Active, I'm keeping. My Lala Fox Micro Essential Mist. This is a moisturizing water. Y'all know I'm in love with Lala Fox, so that's a keeper. I think I could go ahead and get, do, get rid of the Mario Badescu Facial Spray Cucumber and Tea. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm keeping it. I need to use it up and then don't repurchase it. My Crem Shop, I'm Silky Matte Primer Spray, keeping. Now, between this Revolution Glow and this Anastasia Dewey, I think I'm going to get rid of the Revolution. I love that it looks like this, but actually when I spray it on my face, it's way too illuminating. But this says it goes for the face and body, and I really don't be putting stuff on my body. But I think I'm going to go ahead, like, I love when you mix it up. And it has that ball in it. Super beautiful, right? Oh, okay. That's going to be a maybe. But I think I could work with the ABH Dewey Set. I think. I think I could work with this. Watermelon Glow Recipe. I just got this, so I'm going to keep her, of course. I haven't even used her, so I'm going to keep. And I got two more back here. I think I am going to get rid of the Tatcha Luminous Dewy because I'm really just not a dewy, dewy type of girl, and I barely, I, I think I done kept a little too many. And then my Milani Make It Last Sitting Spray, I can keep. All right, so we really didn't get rid of any setting sprays but one. <laughs> but y'all, setting sprays is another weakness of mine. So, okay, let's move on to the pressed powders, which I don't have many of. So this should be fairly like these two were in my project pan. So let's see. These newer ones, well, this new one is the Sephora Setting Powder. It's a powder foundation in gold and almond. I just got this, and look at how light it is. So I am going to do away with this one. And that one is, like, literally brand new. I was like, uh, no, it's not going to work. These two, I think I'm just going to go ahead and be done with the Revlon Fairly Naked. This one is in medium deep. I remember really, 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 really loving this. But you guys, this is just super old. And I tried to project pan it and never went back for it. I think it like the color changed on it. And it's lighter now. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and be done with it. My Black Radiance. Oops, sorry. My Black Radiance Bronze Glow. It's a project pan. I hit pan on it really good. But I think I'm going to keep it and constantly work with it. 
my two project pans I'm gonna go ahead and consider this one done because I didn't used it all the way up and the rest of it done broke as you could tell but this one is the black radiance creamy bronze finish and yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and count this one as done because it is completely broken up and then I have milk chocolate from the same black radiance soft focus and I'm still working on this one so I'm gonna keep these two black radiance in my project pan my MAC mineralized skin finish in dark I'm gonna keep my MAC mineralized skin finish in dark deep I'm gonna keep my Maybelline Superstay in coconut I'm gonna go ahead and get rid I got rid of truffle you know what no I think I'm gonna keep this one I got rid of truffle and this one's coconut I think coconut pulls a little bit orange on me and see now it's trying to work right so I'm gonna keep it the Milani cream to powder foundation I just bought this not too long ago and still have yet to use it this one is in spiced almond so I'm gonna keep it because I need to see if it actually works for me my Microsoft Smooth from Sephora in Deep Ebony. I'm gonna keep, y'all know this is a holy grail. I got backups and everything, so that one stays. I'm gonna test out this Rimmel one one more time. This is the Stay Matte Powder. Um, this one is in Toffee. I'm gonna test it out one more time and see if it actually matches me, but if not, I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. And then my last one is the Ruby Kisses Powder Foundation. This one is in Chestnut. Uh, I think I'm going to keep. That's that for this drawer. I didn't do so well in the setting powders, but hey. It is what it is. Setting powders are a sucker for me, so. That's that drawer. And we're going to pull this bad boy out because... So I guess we're gonna start on the blush side since this is the blushes, this is the bronzers, and this is a mixture of the palettes, which y'all can't really see. Blushes, bronzers, palettes, which is a mixture. And uh, I don't know how we are gonna do in this category neither. So we're gonna start with the Project Pan. Project Pan, this is my Black Radiance True Complexion, medium to dark. I still have the sculpt and the highlighter that I said I wanted to use. I completely used all of the contour. So I'm going to try to use these up still in my project pan. I do have a new Sephora bronzer. This one is in Ab Abazia. It's very, very, very new to me. And okay, y'all, I just had a moment. My toasted almond from benefit was up in my setting powders now that i think about it and that don't need to be there but my sephora bronzer is very new so i'm gonna keep it and my holy grail abh mahogany i'm gonna keep now with the blushes i'm gonna keep the note and this is in desert rose Got it in a boxy charm, fairly new. Bless you. My Nabla blush in adults only. Still haven't used it, so she's a keeper. And then my ABH Trio, which is in the Adore Berry. Gonna keep because I absolutely love it. I think I'm gonna have to sit on the ground for this one, y'all. We're starting with blushes. My Elegancy, my Elegantly me cosmetics no sir is in touch of spice i'm gonna keep this y'all know i'm absolutely in love with this if y'all want to i have the link to elegant me cosmetics down below and they gave me my own makeup kit set and this is in it okay i had to bring y'all down some but i really don't want to be in the frame because your girl is not looking the best so we're gonna try this but my viewfinder is on this side so i need to be able to see um my elf blush kit i've been having for too long and i really still don't use it so i'm gonna go ahead and let that go y'all this is hard my cheekers 
that I got off of Shop Miss A. Gypsy, Sun Baked, and then I have Mauve. I believe this one is. Yes, Mauve. So let me look at the three because these were the last three that I absolutely loved. I know I love Sun Baked. I know this was one of the ones that I loved. But now that I look at it, is it too light for my skin tone? Is that too much for my skin tone? This one is a maybe. Gypsy, I think it's good. These are really good blushes that are only a dollar. So I think Gypsy is a keeper. And then Mauve is that good purpley shade, which... I believe is a keeper oh and you guys i do have one more blush that i have yet to use i'm honestly gonna bring this whole little thing over because <sighs> i do have some products in here that i have yet to use they're new but they fall into these categories that i'm in um i know y'all can't see them right now but let me just give y'all the glance this elf luminous putty primer i haven't used yet so i'm gonna keep it for right now this wet n wild halo blush highlighter duo and flash me i'm gonna keep for right now these are all new products and i'm kind of dipping off into those areas okay my gerard cosmetics slay all day setting spray this one is in Cucumber, I'm going to keep. These are new products, you guys. This is the blush I was talking about. The LA Colors. No, the LA Girls Just Dance. Too Much Mouth here on YouTube spoke of this and it's a good blush for our skin tone. So, that's the other blush. And then this KVD Translucent Setting Powder. We're going to keep. Okay. So that's what I got going on. So moving to these blushes. The Ulta Cheeker in Adore, I'm keeping. The NYX, this one is a oldie but a goodie. This one is in Electro, the hottest pink, I'm keeping. These two by Black Radiance, I'm keeping. There is Brick House and toasted almond my faves this ulta cheeker in sunkiss i'm keeping so if i'm keeping this sunkissed i think i could get rid of the other sunkissed where i said that one was a maybe or did i go ahead and get rid of it because i don't see it this one from shopping say i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of because this one's sun baked and this one is sun kissed and I'd rather just get rid of this one and keep this one. Blotting powder from Fenty, which I said I was going to keep over here for like setting. So I'm going to keep that for right now. All right. My Black Radiance in Raspberry is a keeper. This one, Malibu Glitz in Blusher from Shop Miss A. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. It's a very pretty color, but I don't reach for it no more. But it was good while it lasted. My Mellow Wine by Wet n Wild, I'm gonna hold on to for just a little bit longer. Um, oh yeah, I got so many blushes. I didn't even think I had this many blushes. My Bella blush from Juvia's Place, I'm keeping. This is about the only Juvia's Place blush I have, so I'm keeping it. My Alme Healthy Hue Blush. This one is in um, uh, Wildberry. I'm keeping fairly new to me and absolutely like it. My NYX Ombre Blush. Since I'm keeping the pink one, this one is in Cold Breaker. I'm keeping Electro and I'm keeping the two purple blushes. I think I could go ahead and pass this one on i had this for a very long time literally this blush was a part of the very first haul i ever did on my channel but i love this blush so much that i kept a hold of it screw it i'm keeping it i don't know why i just tried to talk myself out of it Ugh. i'm keeping my maxi blush by rimmel and this is in 
Rendezvous, whatever. It's a crazy name, but it's a deep purple. I'm going to keep. And then this one from Becca and Delilah. I don't think I even used yet. Oh, no. This is the one my twin just gave me, and it is gorgeous. So I'm keeping that one for sure. Blushes. And I also have an Olimar Cosmetics blush palette back here that I know I'm not getting rid of. Oh. I absolutely love Olimar Cosmetics blushes. This is the Trio. And this one is in uh, Dark Rich. But let's move on to these bronzers. And then we'll move on to these palettes over here and see what we could do. Oh, you guys, I did have a Revolution highlighter over here in Praline. And you know what? I remember when I bought this and I swatched it and all of them were way too light. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, so back to the bronzers. Y'all already seen the bronzers that I had over here that I said I was keeping. Let's get into the Nika K Duo. This is in 09. I'm going to keep it. I've been loving this for some time now. And I'm going to keep it. My full spectrum cover girl. This one is in Ebony. I think this one was called. Yeah, Ebony. It was the remake of the Queen Ebony bronzer. So I am going to keep this one. But the Queen Ebony bronzer I'm going to keep as well. Y'all know this was a holy grail. And I'm glad that they reformulated and came back out with that. So I'm going to keep both of those. Um, this one here. My Mineral Powder Ruby Kisses in Ebony. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. It's just extremely too dark. And i rather keep the Ebony Bronzer and all that. So I'm going to let that one go. The Full Spectrum Cover Girl Ambient Ambition. Matte Ambition. This one is in Deep Cool 4. Y'all, this was tad bit too deep. Fenty Mocha Mama, I'm keeping. Y'all should know that. She's not going nowhere. My Black Radiance and Black Coffee. Very new to me. It's a newer shade. I'm going to keep. Lock It Pressed Powder KVD. You guys, I'm not even going to lie. I bought this as a all-over face powder. It was extremely too dark. This is in Reach Rich Deep. And then I said I was going to use it as a bronzer, but it is way too powerful for a bronzer. So I'm going to go ahead and do away with that one. My Butter London Physicians Formula. This one is in the shade Endless Summer. I'm going to keep. And then my two Fenty Matchsticks in Espresso and Truffles. This is the last two cream ones I have left. I'm going to keep both of these. Okay, so on to these. This is blushes and bronzers. But these are like the palettes. And I don't reach for them too often, but I also love them. So this one from Clean Color is the Cream Corrector. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it because I just don't use it. My Black Radiance. Yeah, my Black Radiance Medium to Dark, y'all. This is the second one, even though I'm still working on the sculpted side of the Project Pan. I'm going to keep this one. The LA Colors Contour Palette. I think I'm going to put in my makeup kit because I just don't use it on myself no more. Oh, y'all, my Morphe Highlighter and Contour Palette. This is the 8H. I will never get rid of this. I love this. It is so freaking good. My Ulta Contour Kit. Y'all, I had wanted this for so long. And when I did get it, I abused the hell out of it. So I think I'm going to keep it. Um, my Revolutions Patricia Bright. You are gold palette. I am keeping. Okay, this Sephora contour and highlighter. This is a Z palette. These are from Makeup Geek, I believe. I had these and just can't seem to let it go. So I think I'm going to put this in my makeup kit. What is this one? Oh, the Lily Lashes and Sephora collection. It's a face palette. Y'all, I just recently bought this one because it was on sale. Look at it. I'm not getting rid of it, but just look at it. It is so pretty. I need to keep this and actually use it. 
And then my Saharan Blush Volume 1 from Juvia's Place. That's not a joke. I'm keeping it. It does look a little bit different, you guys. Here we are. We're looking a little bit better when it comes to the bronzer and blush. I have more blushes than I absolutely thought. So, the last drawer we're going to go through because it's going to be an extremely long one is the single eyeshadows, eyeliners, mascara-ish brow ish drawer you guys this is a long one y'all it's some areas of the declutter i just don't like dealing with and i could get back on the ground for this one because who yeah this is gonna be a long one i just found my cream bronzer from black radiance uh, no, not Black Radiance, Black Opal in the Suede Mocha. This is the only one that I actually use to cream bronze. So I'm going to add this one back to the drawer because I still like this one. I think I'm going to go through the single eye eyeshadows with you guys. When it comes to these liners and stuff because y'all, it's just too many. And honestly, y'all know my beauty area is in my garage and I think it's a little too hot and it's bothering my stomach you know when you're hot you start getting the bubble goods i think that's what's going on with me okay precisely my brow this is my other one that i got i'm gonna throw the box away but i'm gonna keep the pencil because i'm running out of the travel size one this one here i have like very very little literally very little to go so as you could tell i'm really liking this one and i'm glad i got the backup i am gonna keep the kvd one in lolita because my twin just gave me this and i absolutely love it so i know for a fact i'm gonna keep this one i think it's time to let go the cream pigment from hakari which is latte even though i really did enjoy it i just don't pull for it no more so that one could go Honestly, you guys, some of these Milanis have never even been opened, and y'all know I had a lot. If y'all been following me on my declutter series since the beginning, y'all know I battle with these single eyeshadows a whole lot, but I think it's time. So, Bella Sky is new. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of her. I think I'm going to keep Bella Gold. I think I'm gonna get rid of Bella Silver. I'm gonna keep Bella Cappuccino. I'm gonna keep Bella Violet. I'm gonna get rid of Bella Teal. I'm gonna get rid of Bella Purple. I think I'm gonna keep Bella Rouge. I'm gonna get rid of Bella Navy. And I'm gonna keep Bella Black. Yeah, I keep getting smaller and smaller every time I do a declutter. I think I'm gonna keep Jade for right now from NYX. I absolutely like that color. My Ace Butte. I think I'm gonna get rid of these. These are from Foxy Charm. And they were cute when I tested them out. I used these in a video. They were cute, but I think I'm over it by now. This one is Huckleberry. Very, very pretty, but I think I'm over it, honestly. And then this one is, this one is in French Vanilla. I swatched this one, never used it, but this Huckleberry I used. And I really did like it, but it's just time. I'm, I'm over them. My ColourPop. <laughs> single eyeshadow in too shy y'all it is time i held on to this for way too long and now that i think about it 
I also have my ColourPop I Heart This that was in my project pan that I keep saying I'm gonna use, but I never do. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. And then my only two single Wet n Wild eyeshadows that I have left, which is in Sugar and Panther. These are great to have. They have a transitional shade that is great, but I no longer have it. So really quick, let's go through this brow stuff. Because all of my brow stuff is still in my room, in my master bedroom, that I really need to go through and bring this way. But... For some reason, I just still haven't. So that needs to be done. And I honestly think once I go to organize in different areas, the brow stuff is going to go in a totally different drawer. So the Pretty Vulgar Black Ink, I'm keeping. I use that for the brows. Um, my ABH Dip Pomade in Ebony is a project pan. But you guys, I done used this up so much to where I should just be done. Like, for real, for real. I should be done and I should be okay with that. So that's what I'm going to do. My LA Girl, this is a brow pomade in soft black. I'm going to keep. Gabriella. I used to get these from the doll, no, from the beauty supply. And I used to love them, so I'm going to keep. I'm going to get rid of the Crim Shop Brow didn't really like it i could keep my wet and wild color icon i could get rid of my la girl shady slim brow pencil y'all that was just a little too skinny for your girl as well as my joa beauty brow pencil this one was in i think ebony i can't even see it but i think i'm gonna go away with this one too no you know what i think i'm gonna try to use this again and see this wet and wild brow pencil in brunettes do it better i think i'm gonna be done with am i done really done with shady slim oh shit i am now because it just fell off and then my la colors brow pencil i'll keep that one was easy enough to deal with all right this section here I'm keeping all of these because they're new. My twin just got me this collection from P. Louise. So I am keeping these. I don't think I have a problem with the minis. Mascaras. Oh, I'm keeping my P. Louise number number two. Let me check out these mini mascaras. Benefit. They're real. It's dried. Trash. Too Faced better than sex. We're still good, so I'll keep that one. The Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. I think it's all dried. Yeah. This Tarte Tardius paint, y'all, I'm just going to get rid of because I keep saying I'm going to use it and I really don't. This Kat Von D Blue Eyeliner. Just going to get rid of it. Ooh, y'all, these look... Okay, let's... This ABH Brow Wiz, I'm going to keep. This one is in Ebony. going to keep my Revlon Color Stay. You guys, I have... I'm on the last leg of it. I need to find that and repurchase it. Because that one was a really good one. Alright, so I'm going to go through these liquid liners you guys look at all these liquid liners whatever i decide to keep i'm gonna drop down here that's it four so i'm really gonna do the same thing with all of this right here mascaras are gonna be last because i could talk through them because this is all i have that's basically opened 
and we're going to speed through these liners. I should do better in the liners than I should do better in the liners than I did in the liquid liners because I've been having these pencil liners way longer. So let's skim through these real quick. Didn't do too bad. I got rid of a hand full of pencil liners. It still looks like a lot, but I got rid of a handful, which is good. My mascaras, which I doubt I let go of any of them so far. Not that I know of. And I did reorganize a little bit. I think I'm gonna put the mascaras back here, honestly. This area I think is good, this area is good. I'm gonna change this and once this moves, the mascaras just may go there or the mascaras and the brow stuff may not last here long at all. So, we know we're keeping a better than sex. The It Cosmetic Superhero we're keeping. My Essence Big Bang Big Lash we're keeping. The Lala Fox uh, we could keep for right now. This is the Touch Up Mascara. Y'all, the wife is trying to learn how to make candles. It smells good. The this is the other one. Oh no. This don't smell bad. So I'm gonna keep the Maybelline Big Colossal Mascara because that's what I was currently using at the moment. I think I'm gonna do away with the Maybelline, the Falsies Push Up Drama. I don't think this was a favorite. I do still have two big Better Than Six mascaras. Yeah, they're, this one's still good. Why do I have two open? I have no idea. But I know this one's still good because it's heavier. So I know it got more product in that one. Um, my Fancy Beauty, I just bought and have yet to use it. This is the full frontal. So I'm keeping that. Now my Tristique Mascara, I think I'm going to keep as well. So that is it so far you guys i think we did pretty good thus far um the next drawer is going to be glitz and glam which is another full ass drawer which i don't know how much we would get rid of there neither but it's worth a shot hopefully you guys enjoyed Whew, hopefully you guys enjoyed the declutter thus far and y'all know we're like basically taking this all the way around the room type of ordeal so that we could reorganize i know i probably do all of the declutter all together and then move on to the next step of organizing and then move on to the next step i'm not gonna do individual videos of a lot of my boxy charm boxes my morphe brushes i'm just gonna like unbox all of that with you guys at one time and we're gonna see what we're gonna keep and what we're gonna get rid of and you know organize it that way because that'd be much easier than to give you guys like 15 different videos of the exact same thing just different products let me know your thoughts down below and go check out my website because i'm adding some of those products that we got rid of to the website i'm gonna test it out as well as i want to hear y'all thoughts on what we should do when it versus my website versus and 
have some products on my website just to test out and see how it goes and yeah i think that's it for now thank y'all so much for watching i hope y'all enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe and click the notification bell and i will catch y'all on the next one deuces